in, Mr. Chicken. We're here to talk to you about our church. Oh, yeah? We were told that you were in a period of need and that you might be receptive to, to joining our congregation. Oh, really? Was it my next door neighbor here? Well, we shouldn't really talk about Yes, that. she did. Well, she did. That's my sister. She probably just sent you over here as a joke. Either that or she's pissed at me. I don't know why she'd be thinking I'm looking for a new or different church. So you already have a church. No, I don't go to church. Well, the way that you said new or different made it sound like there was an old or the same. Well, if I don't have a church at all, then anything is new or different. Did I just blow your mind? Would it be okay to sit down for a few minutes? Sure, come on in. First of all, I'd like to leave you a copy of our holy book. This will explain everything about our religion and what we believe. All right. Like what? Like loving God, loving each other, feeding the hungry, helping the poor, forgiving the people who hurt you. All right. Well, that sounds good so far. But why do I need your religion to do those things? Well, we're here to help you. Help me to do the things that are written in your book. I'll give you an example. Someone came into our church some time ago. He needed a lot of help, so we counseled him and helped him to get on the right track. Go on. Well, he needed a lot of help. He owned a store that sold cigarettes and beer and magazines with pictures of women in bikinis. So you taught him about love and forgiveness, right? Well, first he had to clean up his act. He sold the store and got a job at the church. Unfortunately, he was not one of our success stories. Shortly after that, his wife left him. We can't condone divorce in our congregation. So, was this a squirrel named Dwayne? Do you know him? Yeah, the last time I saw him, he was standing on a ledge. Do not jump. It is not worth it. I am sure your insert family member here cares it for you a great deal. It was unfortunate. So wait a minute. My wife left me with two kids here. I'm living alone. And you're here to help me by telling me I'm living my life wrong. And if she divorces me, you'll kick me out of your church anyway. You have to get your life right with God. But let me get this straight now. This squirrel had his life just fine. He had a store and a job and a wife and... Because he came to you for help and did what you told him to do, he lost everything and then you cast him out. Well, that's one way of looking at it. He already had a successful store. Why didn't you just tell him to stop selling cigarettes and beer and those magazines? Tell him to sell something else, you know, fish bait. I don't know. In our book, there's a story of a man who wants to get right with God and he has to sell everything. So does that standard apply to everyone in the whole universe? Well, no. If everyone sells everything, then who's going to buy it? So you brought him into your church, and then you cast him out for the problems that you caused him. Let me ask y'all something. Do you really not see a disconnect between the things that your book is saying and the way that you run your religion? You know, when you put it that way, it almost seems kind of bad. All right, we're done here.